In previous video, we learned how to add an item on website. In this video, we will learn how to like make an item available on this web page over here. So there are three ways to do this. One is you can add a products, all the products over here, like in this particular section after before publications. And another way is to like set your home page as a product page, which we'll also see in this video. And then another way is to add like over here I have the shop page over here shop URL over here so if I go to shop I can see all the items over there so like three different ways you can add an items on your web page so let's go and have a look at the first way so this is the home page that I have set right now like uh, in my website settings if I go to my website settings okay yes so here my home page is set to this particular route that is home that is an inbuilt uh, home page within the system okay so how for that can you add a product let's have a look at it so here we can see that there is a product there is a URL for all products so I'll just add all the items over here so in this particular filter it will only show items that have like filters applied for showing website so if i have checked showing website like for this we just saw in a previous video that for ebooks i just checked showing website and then it was available on website so for any item if that uh, check if that box is checked then only all these items will be available in this filter so i'll just add quickly some three items let's say i want i'm adding this one and then i'm adding this one and let's add one more okay this one all right let's save it so on a home page right now those three items should be available over here yes so we can see these three items over here now one more way is I can go to product settings in product settings if I check this that is home pages product then the home page will be the default item group for the website so all the items will be available directly on the home page all right so i'll just refresh it okay right now it's not it's not working let's check it in website settings and see what is okay let's refresh this right now it's set to home only it should be a products yes so now it's products i'll refresh it again and i should see all the products okay so let's go to an incognito tab and then we'll see yes so we can see that these are all the products that are available over here I'll just go to all products so these are all the products which I have checked as show in website so that's why I can see all this product on this particular web page over here okay so my home page if i go on my home page like i'm clicking on, on my home page so i'm getting the list of all the products over here so these are the products like ebook was an item group product that's why it's showing all products if you want to see then this is how you can see it okay so this was one way to do it now this was like the second way now let's move on to the third way so let's go to the website settings and like let us change it back to how it was i'll just uncheck it okay save it okay so now home page won't be product but still it will be like this only yeah like this this will already come okay let's go back and go to website settings again mm, okay refresh it again so now the home page is set to home and I'll go to top bar so in my top bar I have this all like um, labels over here so on shop I have added this particular label that is all products so wait here we can see that for all products this is what I'm getting so I've added this particular label over here and I've added this URL so I'll just save it it's already and I'll go to shop okay so if I go on shop I'm getting the list of all the products you can see this yes so that's how it is and I think there are like 10 products per page it's because of the product settings so if I go and let's say I want five products per page I'll just save it and I'll refresh it again so 
so yeah right now we can see that the only five products are there one two three four five so that's how it is and i hope you understood it how you can add a products on the web page uh, in another video i'll explain about this filter so keep watching